How you guys doing today? This is Derek Howes with DHFTNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite sweet tooth killers, chocolate peanut butter protein oatmeal. So let's get to it. The first thing you're going to want to do is cook your oatmeal. However you cook it is up to you. You can use a stovetop or like I'm using today, the microwave. In order to make it in the microwave, you're going to add in 40 grams or half a cup of rolled oats, two-thirds a cup of water, and one-third a cup of a sugar-free vanilla coconut milk into your microwavable safe dish. If you don't like coconut milk, you can use regular milk or any other milk substitute that you may prefer. And then microwave it for two minutes on high. After two minutes, take it out and we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. The most important part of this recipe is to make sure that you add in the rest of your ingredients while the oatmeal is still hot. The first ingredient we're gonna add in is two tablespoons or 10 grams of cocoa powder one scoop or 30 grams of chocolate protein powder. It doesn't matter whether you use casein, soy, egg, or like I'm using whey protein. Two tablespoons or 32 grams of a sugar-free chocolate syrup. One serving or 11 grams of instant sugar-free, fat-free chocolate jello. And last, two tablespoons or 32 grams of peanut butter. And now just mix everything together. And there is your chocolate peanut butter protein oatmeal. As you guys saw, the oatmeal is done. I like to top mine with some whipped cream and cocoa powder. So now I'm just gonna try it for you guys. It pretty much tastes like chocolate cake. It's really chocolatey. You get that aftertaste of peanut butter, which is delicious. If you've ever had a brownie sundae, when you get towards the bottom, you get like that melted ice cream, soft brownie combination. That's what this reminds me of. It's absolutely delicious. If you're having a chocolate craving that day, this will blow it out of the park. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 577, 21 grams of fat, 56 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fiber, and 41 grams of protein. All right guys, as always, I do wanna thank you for watching. If you liked my chocolate peanut butter protein oatmeal recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. And by subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some oatmeal to finish. Stay healthy.